Surrender to God. I am here with you in each glorious moment. I am alive in your heart and I am kissing your magnificent consciousness with the great sunshine of my love. I am bathing you in light and grace, bathing you in the realms of pure love. And I am lifting you this day into freedom from the tyranny of your ego mind. For beloved ones, though your hearts are mine and though you have made the deepest and most passionate commitment, you still become slaves to your little mind and your ego as it tricks you into believing that you are in charge once again. Yet when the ego mind is in charge, it is always the focus of duality and it is always attempting to show you how to protect yourselves. So I have come today to remind you that it is only as you fly free into the realms of pure love that you can escape the tyranny of the little mind and ego. Beloved ones, the only way that you can do this at this time is to totally give your will to me. You might say to me, but God, I, I have done this over and over again. But what I'm asking of you is surrender in the deepest and most powerful way. The recognition of yourself, you cannot do it, but through me, the realms of love are but a heartbeat away. So I am washing you in my love and I am lifting you into the realm of pure joy. And I am gently disengaging you from the games of duality. For you are the living heart of Christ. And yet, dear ones, you can't know this until you totally realize that with your mind you cannot do it. And you allow me to take charge of your life. But to do this, you must each trust me with a trust that is as deep as the cosmic oceans of love. You must recognize, beloved ones, each of you, how I love you and I only ever pour forth your good every moment, the glorious good, greater than your greatest imagination. Every heart's belief in my causing you pain has been delivered to you by your ego mind as its way to control you. The only way that humankind can be released from the tyranny of suffering and pain, of lack and the random acts of negativity that seem to be the norm on earth, is to come out from under the heart's belief that, first, you are a limited human being, and second, beloved ones, you must release the heart's belief that I would ever, for any reason, including your spiritual growth, bring to you negativity of any kind in any way. I tell you, it is not my nature. I promise you that I am only love, only the greatest and most glorious good. I am the ecstasy of your being, singing its own true nature. I am the communion of life that is expressing as you. I am not and never could be the cause of any pain to you. I promise you that every bit of this is caused by the belief in the ego mind's identity as a limited and suffering human being. So with your commitment comes the birth of something brand new. It is the birth within your glorious heart of the remembrance of your true nature. And dearest ones, now that it has started in you, now that you have made that powerful decision and it is backed by all the streams of light and all the flow of all my love and the in-breath as I lift you back home to the light, that this awakening in your heart, that is the star of Christ, the deep remembering of the essential nature of your being, as your one and only truth, this must now become your complete identity, your world, your life. The only way that you can do this is to gain your freedom from the consensual dream of the belief in two powers and return your hearts to me and the deep and powerful knowing that there is only love. And yet, even though the star of Christ is born in you, and begins to make itself known as the central core of your life, even with this, dearest ones, so many of you have returned to the old beliefs and taking charge of your own life in an attempt to buy yourself safety. Yet the illusion of safety, given to you by the ego, and by the manipulations of your little mind is a trap that is designed to keep you under its influence. The influence of duality, of separation and of identity that is built for you by your ego mind. You must release this identity and the consensual reality in which you have lived and in this moment, beloved ones. 
I am your only answer, and the only avenue to your freedom is truly to surrender every area of your life every day to me. This means every area, including those you most deeply cling to, and including the cherished beliefs of the ego that without your attention you won't remain safe and that somehow I will bring bad things to you if you aren't constantly watching. When you truly see it face on like this, it even can sound funny, hilarious in fact, that the one love I am and you can be blamed by the ego for all that negativity that is the ego's own creation. Yet this is how it keeps you trapped. So right now, my dearest ones, each of you, let me bathe you in the glorious ray of love and let me show you how I love you in all the ways for which you had hoped all of your life on earth. And let me show you also how every dream of love that failed of life interrupted, of every experience that you have had that was negative. Let me show you how I can bring you release. I now show you deep within that each of these areas on which you pined your hopes were part of the reversal, and you were looking outside of yourself for love, which, dear ones, is backwards. It is only when you allow our love to be the central experience of each moment of your life, only then can this love that we are that we share manifest outside of you into the symbols of the world. But all creative power is forever through your heart and through your connection to me. Most of all, please feel my love, and as you do, I will wash from you all your burdens. Every last one now disappears in this tender, living wash of my love. In this love that I pour to you in this deep and sweet communion, there is a freedom a deep release and there's also a brand new strength because your heart remembers love. Your heart remembers our oneness as the living spirit and your heart can instantly access the vertical and be nourished by the great flow of giving. The moment that you return to this, our communion and the vertical, I am answering your call before you even know that you have made it and pouring into your life and through your life every good I am. Because you are my own glorious nature. You are the expression of my loving heart and you are our shared consciousness. Only as you acknowledge this and release your life into my care, only then will you have the strength of remembering who you are, walking forth to live this in each now moment. So in this moment, dearest ones, I ask you to surrender all that you have been holding with any kind of fear attached or any sense that you have to take care of yourself. Any ways that you believe that I could have caused negativity even in the name of your growth. All of this is the lie of the false world of the ego mind. And when you feel this belief arising in you, the belief that I am somehow choosing to bring negativity to you, you may use the words that Jesus spoke, Get thee behind me, ego. The moment that you remember and you say this and you mean it, O oh, beloved ones, the great flood of light washes through your being and love reclaims you as her truth. Wisdom is your consciousness in every now moment. Most of all in your daily life, I ask you to remember that you have safety in the truth of my love for you. And you have safety in the fact that love is your nature. And the moment that you return to the truth of who you are, then there is only love and only good that can come into your world and express through your heart as your life. Of all that I have asked of you, this is the most challenging. To release all beliefs in my involvement in your human life in creating the experience of negativity for negativity is my love reversed and has nothing to do with me. Therefore, beloved ones, it has nothing to do with you in any way. There is no need for protection. Yet it is only when you have dropped your reliance on your ego mind for anything, for information, for identity, for anything at all. Only then are you finally free. This is the decision of the Christ. So to release everything in your life, in your world, in your beliefs, everything that pulled your attention into the outer world as a source of anything at all, and anything that drew forth fear, created anxiety, or pulled your attention, all of these things you totally released. 
You gave them all to me in the fires of transformation, to be burned and transformed totally into love, and you accepted your identity as Christ, as the living, giving heart of all that I am. And yet many of you, some almost instantly, began to take some of it back and to begin once again to think the old way, to find yourself seeking control of your life and protection from that which you believe is negative. In other words, you have returned to duality once again, some of you without even noticing it. This is why I must remind you to surrender it all to me and to choose this moment to fully feel my love. For the moment that you truly and deeply feel it, you will know that you can trust me with your life. I promise you, dearest one, that I only bring your glorious good, that I am pouring love into your life each moment and handing you all my abundance. Each area of your life in its fullness is meant to be the reflection of this truth that you are the heart of the one great love. You simply must choose to remember. So in each breath that you take this week, I ask you to surrender once again, to surrender your life to me, and to feel the truth of our love and the truth of love as our nature. And allow this to live your strength and your faith in the experience of pure glorious life and all good, all sufficiency appearing here for you once you have given your will to me. It is true that you say again and again, God, I give you my life, I surrender my will. And then you immediately take it back. So let every breath be your surrender now into the love that is so deep and so present that it will bring you an abiding strength a strength that is not based only on faith, but on the experience of this glorious love. As you surrender your will, dearest ones, each of you, I promise you that I will bring you only good. And I ask you to step into this, to accept it, to be the living Christ and to give forth this love freely to others, that they too can accept it as their reality as well. Step by glorious step in the vertical river of life. Allow your heart to lead the way and allow your awareness that a life of surrender, surrender to me, dearest ones, is the only way out of the illusion, the only release from the ego mind's tyranny. One life, one breathing whole, one glorious expression of pure beauty, and one ongoing moment of grace Grace that is now the essence of your life. Grace in which everything is given to you and your job is only acceptance. So as a part of your surrender, please make your statement of acceptance that you accept all of your good, all of the love and all of the abundance that I am every and always providing for you. And then, let your heart speak and not your ego mind. Can you see the difference? And how sneaky the ego mind can be as it quietly usurps your decision to be the Christ and brings you back into its realm of subtle fear and manipulation that keep you from fully trusting me, trusting love, trusting each moment to provide you without exception with absolutely your highest and most glorious good. As the Christ heart awakens, beloved ones, the old world is gone. The days of old hearts' beliefs will be transformed, mended, and the world becomes a seamless joy with each precious life in communion. Every heart in communion with me, each breath a surrender of your will, of your life, remembering that I am all glorious good, and I need your hearts fully clear and functioning to allow my love to be present on earth. You are the second coming of Christ. You know this, all of you together. It is only as you claim it, dearest ones, that life on earth can be set free. You are the bridge, and I need you. Thank you to turning for me and surrender and trust as your strength, not in the tales of the outer world. This surrender must be moment by moment, daily, until you fully see my will in action in your life. And then there will be no hesitation. I am only good, greater good than you can ever imagine. 
Will you accept this good and hold it tightly, treasure it as your own heart, and release all else to the higher will of love's living spirit? So be it.